Hey guys, and welcome to this video. Uh, I just wanted to touch base a bit, as I know I haven't been uploading as much as I should be. But basically, I'm entering a very busy period of my life, and I've been a bit ill, which doesn't help matters either. Um, and also, there seems to be some weird YouTube glitch where it hasn't installed, that it hasn't published some videos properly, and I don't know why because uh, I'm supposed to be able to use the schedule feature to upload videos in advance and then have them actually become public on a certain day and time and for some reason the bunch for last week was that th there should have been a video pretty much every day last week and um, for some reason that didn't work out so there's only one video last week I'm not too sure why that went wrong I'm just going to lower the volume settings slightly because this is quite loud Basically, in this video, I just wanted to. <coughs> Pardon me. I just wanted to touch base a bit, and uh, I also wanted to do a little look at Minecraft 1.9. Um, so let's open this. I can't remember what I started doing on this now, actually. But there's all kinds of new things, and there's some exciting things in yes. Uh, yeah, I've had a little play before, as you can probably tell. A couple of issues with 1.9 I'd like to point out immediately. Why am I hovering? I do not like the hovering. Oh, because I'm in creative and I can fly. But um, compared to 1.8, 1.9 seems very laggy. Especially on this map, I'm not sure why, it's usually not this bad. I'm sure I've got a lot, open, got a lot open in the background. Uh, so it's usually not quite this bad. Or it could just have been something in that direction it did like. But uh, anyway, some exciting new things. Uh, if I can find it, we can now do this. Uh, let's just stick that out to our inventory. So, I see a zombie, in fact you can see it already with the torch, I see a zombie, I thought, in fact let me actually spawn a zombie just so, in fact let me spawn a skelly. Ooh. But yeah, I'm going to spawn a skelly, let's just get rid of this fire charge, just so I can demonstrate some of these new things. Um, no one's becoming night, but anyway. I should probably wait till night to spawn things. But yeah. It's creative so it's not automatically going to aggro on me. There's also a new combat thing where you can only fight so much. Oh, well that was... <coughs> but yeah, you have to take turns being relaxed. Also you've got... Let me just want another one. You've also got a uh, couple of swords, right? And short right clicking should be doing something. <coughs> <coughs> oh, a bit of a cough at the moment. Uh, but say he was shooting arrows at me, I can do this. And then I can fight him with a torch if I so wished. Uh, then. But should he start firing at me and I want to go on the defensive, I can then defend with a shield. I should whack him in the face, that's brilliant. But yeah, so he starts shooting at me, I have that. He has to reload, I swap out and kill him. In theory, if he was fighting back, which he's not because he's so creative. But you know. In fact, I know what I can do. But yeah, that, that's something new. Also, the shield is something new. So you uh, right click to defend. So say you're getting attacked by a skelly in the distance, you can just stick your shield up. It does take damage, like everything, if you're in uh, survival, but you just stick your shield up and his um, arrows will just go in your shield and you can run away. Now, in a recent episode of VentureCast that I was recording with Callum, we tried something like this and it didn't end that well. <laughs> <coughs> 
uh, because I was running away from his game. I was like, ha, I can defend your arrows now. And then the wood started up behind me, and I couldn't defend from that and the wood in front of me at the same time. So I died. Uh, I've doing, been doing a lot of dying in Edgecast lately. A lot of it's Calm's fault. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're a long way behind where I've actually filmed, where we've actually filmed up to. And uh, what's actually been released. Uh, I'm also continuing with traits. Uh, we're getting through that quite quickly. Um, and then we're moving on to another game, which is another genre we haven't played yet on this channel. <coughs> So, um, it's frozen, there we go. But also, it's not happened yet, but the other thing that seems to happen a lot is awful lot of, um, trunk errors. Right, we're back to 1.25 in the trunk error department. Um, but yeah, but we can just press F3, A, and that reloads all the trunks. I think I just made that worse then, but whatever. So that's not a huge issue, but, but anyway, let me just, I wonder if I can still spawn a skelly if I'm creative. Oh, I sent the music away. Right. I can. So, just to demonstrate this. There we go. And I'm going to wait the skelly. I am quickly going to do that before we die. But yeah. Um, now we can go on the offensive. I'll kill it. There we go. And it's dead. Oh, it took. <coughs> that took more than I was anticipating to kill, but hey ho. So yeah, that's some of the things we can do in 1.9. There's also some new rocks. I want to see if I can actually spawn one of the new mobs. It should only, we, we should come across this for a long time. Yeah. Because this should only spawn in the end, in theory. But I have very tempted just to spawn it on some TNT and see what happens. So, oh, it's one over there. This is the new mob. That's cool. I'm kind of curious, I want to know what happens. So I'm just going to build a little bit of obsidian. I don't think too much has changed in the blocks. But I'm just going to build. <coughs> Whoa, that scared me. I'm just going to build a little obsidian wall around them so that the other mobs can't get in. I just want to know what happens, what, what their attack is and stuff. Like I said, we're not going to need these for a long while. I say need, we're not going to meet these for a long while, definitely. We ever want to meet them. Dark in an obsidian thing. So I'm just going to torch these. What am I blocking myself in with? Do I want to know? Maybe it's the stupid thing I've ever done in Minecraft. Let's just torch this a bit. So in theory, we should also be able to now... Oops. In theory, we should now be able to like walk around mines like this. I keep saying like this and then breaking things. But I should now be able to have like a torch in one hand. So just pushing it up. Okay, I'm gonna put this in that. Just uh, yeah, torch it up. Uh, but should I need the mob? You just do that. And uh, in theory, what happens if I right click now? 
Yes, I still place torches so I can have my torches and my weapons out. Right. But I am just going to swap this for the shield. Um, I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay. Stuff. Okay, that's scary. Okay, so it could shoot stuff. And it's hard to kill. Okay, so that's what a shulker is. That's a new mob. Why can't I get to jump speed? There we go. I quite like <laughs> it. I decided. Stationary bombs. <laughs> then I did read there's supposed to be a couple of new blocks as well. Oh, let's just light up the creeper. That's more fun. Uh, let's just ditch the shield. There is the issue. Right. Now I should... The creepy's run away. Come here, creepy. Nice bit of lag there. Uh, I, I definitely think it's because I've got a lot more open in the background. It normally looks laggy. <coughs> I have recorded this with Callum. Come on. I need a flint and steel, not a fighter charge. That's what I need. And there we go. Oh, a creeper catches fire. It doesn't explode. It just runs around a bit. It's interesting. Okay, I'm just going to get a flint and steel. Because why not? Where did it go? I just despawn when I'm about to blow you up. Oh, there it is. There we go. That's how you do, That's how you do it. Right, I'm going to stop playing this whilst it's ultra laggy. Well, I wonder if I can know. So, I'm just going to have a look through the menus and see if I can figure out any new blocks. But I'm not sure if there are any rotating me, so I set fire to one place in the tree. And I think I've set fire to a different. Well, I think it's fine. I appear to have accidentally set fire to everything in the process. I think that tree's dead. The grass seems to all more or less be out now. Oh no, that tree's dead too. I'm going to have to put the tree in a try. Wow, I think fire's a lot more destructive and faster in this version, actually. Just looking at it. Look, those trees have been gone in like no time. Look at that. What? Ha, what? Ha, ha, huh? How did the shulker get over there? Is that another one that spawned? What? That confuses me. Leave this tree burning. I'm just reading up on a few things over on the uh, Minecraft wiki about 1.9. And in addition to the new attack system, there's a couple of 
other things. Um, such as, let me just bring my mic over with me. Sometimes like this when you wish you had a longer mic cable. Smacked on something somewhere. Sorry about that, that's just so you can still hear me whilst I move over to here. So, uh, in addition to the dual wielding, there's the attack strength thing. Um, so enchanting, we can now have treasure enchantments, but they can only be obtained from looting chests, fishing or trading. Uh, there's a new treasure enchantment called the Frostwalker. And it turns water into metal ice, which decays in multiple stages. It doesn't work on flowing water though, apparently. Um, yeah. You have a new treasure called Mending. Uh, any experience collected while holding the item repairs it instead of going. Oh, that's nice. I want that. Uh, different things. Will you command? A lot of new commands. Uh, uh, it's, it seems to be a new thing with zombies, I'm not quite sure what that is. World generation. So, chorus trees generate on the outer islands of the end. Uh, and they're tree like arrangements of the new chorus plant. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, so, we're looking for the chorus. Which I'm assuming is this. No? C H O R U. Here we go. Chorus plant, chorus flower, chorus fruit. I should have a look at the plant to start with. A couple of other things that I looked at that I don't recall ever seeing before uh, sponge, wet sponge, and mycelium, and purple rocks. Um, anyway, what more? So the end it generates many islands in every direction from the main island, uh, although they're separated by about the gap from a thousand blocks. Although some mini islands do generate in there. Uh, the end city it generates on the new outer end islands, and is a dungeon type structure fashioned like a ranching tower made out of end stone. Oh, is that a new one as well? End stone? I don't recall hearing about that before. We're going to have anything left on our bottom bar at this rate. End stone. Just uh, sticking the emerald back there. Uh, what else? So the end gateway is generated in a radius around the main portal each time the dragon is killed. Uh, we can have 20 gateways. And uh, the end chip is something new also that generates up in the air next to the end city dungeon. It always appears to be a sail away from what appears to be a pier. And it's composed from many of the same materials as the end city. And it generates with shulkers in it. We've just met shulkers. And uh, some other things. Okay, so igloos are now going to spawn randomly in nice plains and the cold Targia. Uh, but not the hills variant of that. And, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> okay, in this super flat mode, uh, which is another game mode that you can play where there's no hills. I think I've never actually played it. It's just flat in every direction. But you can now have a new preset called the Void. And uh, the void is also now a biome. So in theory, if we manage to dig underneath endstone, uh, not endstone, underneath bedrock at any point, uh, we can now end up in that. Uh, but yeah, in fact, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Okay, block. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Look all the chorus ones. Okay, we can also now have. We're going to put these ones up in this menu now, uh, so we can have. A dragon's head. Uh, let's just face the sword a bit. Just a bit like a duck on first impressions there. Um, the end gateway, which is a portal used to transport the player to the new outer region of the end. Uh, the end rod. So it looks like they've done a lot of stuff on the end in this version. So it generates in the end city dungeons. Uh, let's just see if we can find it. It's called the End Rod. Uh, this looks roddy. End Rod. Uh, we'll place that for the pickaxe. Uh, 
uh, what else? Uh, Endstone Brick, that's going to be releasable to Endstone, I'm assuming. Uh, Frostodice, created when using... Ooh, there goes the music, you're getting louder there. Uh, but yeah, the Frostodice, cre created when using the Frostwalker enchantment. Let's just see if we can... No, but we can do the enchantment. What else? Grass path. They are, uh, yeah, just like they're the fit. I think they're the normal size obtained by right-clicking grass blocks with a shovel. Well, let's get a shovel out. Uh, in fact, I should have a shovel in here already, so we'll have a little look at that. Uh, the purple block, which we have, uh, which is generated in the End City dungeons, and uh, he can be crafted with the popped chorus fruit. And then there's various, so this is the actual uh, purple block, but there are other variants of the purple, but I'm going to assume that they're all relatively similar. Uh, so I'm just going to have a look at this. But yeah, you've got the, the it, this looks like a, a normal thing. So we have pillars now, I wonder if that's the only type of pillar? Um, yeah, no, we can actually now also have pillar quartz and purple pillars. Uh, okay, so that's interesting. Does it actually say anything like that? Not really. So we need purple slabs to make a pillar. Uh, structure block, uh, which is something really interesting. We also now have beetroot. Let's have a look at that. Not particularly a fan of beetroot myself. Okay, so we can. I think this is going to be quite like onions. Um, so you p have to make it into soup. I've never actually figured out how you do that yet. So uh, that will be a fun one. I'm just going to see if I can find a pop filter because I am popping this mic a little bit because I'm quite close to it. Here's one. Yes, I did just have random pop filters lying around. <laughs> just a. That's better. Awesome. Um, Dragon's Breath. Shot by the Ender Dragon. Uh, yeah, so the End Crystal. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of different things now that are new. Uh, yeah. So that's the main new things. I'm just going to put the mic back down. I just turned it off there by accident. <coughs> Take the pop filter off. So we'll, we'll uh, we won't bother with beetroot soup. And it's dark again. That's how long this has taken me. So I'm confused about what the sponges are going to be used for. <coughs> so if we place this in the water, what happens? That's cool. That's cool. What am I going to do up here? Not a lot. So let's now have a look at its new friend. So I don't think my ceiling is a new one, it's just one I've not heard of. So what happens if we place wet sponge in water? I'll place it over here. Yeah, and I think it's already wet and full of water. But that's cool. I don't think these are new ones, but hey ho. We can actually push the sea back. You can actually create like dry land all the way through. That's cool. And then they do all the cold wet blocks. Uh, we delete these. Just have to fix the sea. No, so we can break the sea doing this. That might be worth noting. <laughs> Um, what else? So let's have a look at my ceiling, which is like another kind of dirt block, really. Oh, is that just a snowy block? It might just be a snowy block. This is a block of chorus plant, which we might have to place on grass, I'm assuming. Okay. Not sure what we have to do with the chorus plant. Um, but yeah. <coughs> so this is endstone. Creeper, come here, please, mate. Creeper, here. Oh, I'm just going to spawn a... Build a little wall around this creeper. And then 
then set them off. You can see how they disrupt all these new blocks there. Oi, oi! Fine, I'm just going to spawn one in. Go your own way. Selfish. I want it to be blown up. Well, I could just put some TNT in it and see how it fares there. My guess is he's going to be a bit like stone. Um, so he looked at these. That we've not looked at that yet. We've looked at that. Oh, we're about to look at that. So we need that. Uh, we need that. Right, I'm just going to see what happens. I'm also going to destroy or not. Okay, I'm just going to leave it one away from this. No, I'm not. Yeah, so M the rocks aren't indestructible. That would seem. <laughs> hey dear. Right now, let's have a look at the dragon's head. I think it's supposed to like follow us. I've done that thing again. I'm trying to turn my mic back on. Um. But yeah, I thought it was supposed to follow us. I'm a bit disappointed that it doesn't. Hello, creeper. Meet the dragon's head. Dragon head creeper. Dragon head. I think I'm just going to delete this one. It's just a really weird thing for this video. Uh, what else? And now we have an end rod. Ooh. That's nice. Okay. I'm just going to build this guy a little purple block prison. So yeah, it looks like this purple stuff is something that you make out of a plant. Right? Did that kill it? I think so. They teleport! This makes sense now. They teleport. Right, I'm building a prison out of obsidian and we'll see how that how it fares out of that. Surely you can't teleport through obsidian, nothing can get through obsidian. Was 
kind of like okay. Okay, obliterate that was one block left over I think this purple blocks look might be quite tough. Just, uh, is that this one up and see how from the end rods are? Yeah, the end rods are destructible. Okay. So assumably if we blow up the dragon's head it hovers. Let's just see if we can set fire to one. Before we head off, we're just going to see what happens. But just whilst they're burning, I just wanted to go over one last thing. Due to the everyday schedule not quite working out, I am going to be doing a different one. It should be on the screen at this point. Uh, but essentially, I'm going to cut back to Monday having VentureCast, Friday having an episode of VentureCast, Wednesday having a series episode, and Sunday having the light LP thing. And I think I can cope with that. Oh, we, we did check out that other thing, but um, that, that's um, what we're doing. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys then, and I will see you next time.